While Elisa Donovan has had lots of high moments in Hollywood, there were a lot of lows for the actress as well. In her new memoir, Wake Me When You Leave, Elisa recounts how at her darkest moments, she was able to heal and make peace, especially through her dreams. And Elisa is here with us now. Hi, Elisa. How are you? Hi, I am doing very well. How are you? (laughs) I'm doing great. Listen, this is such a personal story. And, you know, Mm -hmm. when you usually get a memoir, it covers kind of the landscape of someone's entire life. But this, you're really focusing on this distinct time in your life. When did the idea come about uh, for this book? Well, it really, uh, when, when all of these things happened in such close succession, my dad was diagnosed with cancer, my relationship ended with the person I thought I was going to marry, and my TV show got canceled, and I was left in this space of, oh, wow, uh, I thought my life was unfolding in one way, and then in what felt like an instant, it just was all taken away, and the book is really about putting all those pieces back together and, and what led up to it and, um, and, and the process of losing my dad. But the, the idea for the book really, it just really was a part of my healing process in the beginning. Yeah. Um, but so let's talk about dreams because dreams mm. were with the pain of the loss of your father dreams, right. Also helped you kind of heal from that and, and helped you reconnect with your family. Like talk to me about, about how that worked. So there's a real distinction that I could, that I could sense between a, a a kind of normal dream, a a regular unconscious dream and a, what I call a visitation dream. I don't know if that's a scientific official term or not, but but Um, but but, I get it. You know, I know what it is. (laughs) Yes. Where he, he honestly came to me. It's like, I was kind of put to sleep and I woke up in this space where it was, I was more lucid than I had been in months. I, it felt very real. And we communicated in this way that was very direct and without words, but the sound, but the, the, the words were, um, our mouths weren't moving. So it's like our thoughts, we could hear one another's thoughts. Oh, wow. And the first time that it happened, it was, it's very arresting, right? Because it's, yeah. uh, it felt very emotional and I didn't know what was happening because it was so real. And then I woke up and I just, I didn't even know what to make of any of it. It was very disorienting. And you Mm -hmm. have an eight-year-old daughter. Are you passing this knowledge down to her? Are you explaining this to her? Yes, I really am. She comes in in the mornings and will, I'll just ask her, did you have any, do you remember any of your dreams last night? And she will tell me, I said to her the other day, do you ever talk to grandpa Jack? my dad's name is Jack. And she just looked at me and she looked away and then she looked down and she said, sometimes. And I just, of course, started crying. And I said, that's okay. I'm like, that's, that's good. Like you can talk to him. Well, you have stepped back from Hollywood for the past few years, um, but you are coming back in a big way because you are not only, (laughs) you're turning this into a movie. You're not only writing it, but you are directing it. Um, Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this next chapter? I can see by your face already. (laughs) I'm super, super, super excited. You know, I want to make films and TV shows and write books that have a respect for the the difficulties and the the challenges in life and that are also triumphant and joyful. Yeah. And I love (laughs) that we hear your voice in this book and we, I hope to hear more of your voice in your future projects. Um, So we can get Wake Me When You Leave. It's available in bookstores and digitally now. Elisa, thank Mm -hmm. you so much for taking the time today and chatting with me. Oh, thank you so much. This was a joy.